mean once a person is flagged and their fingerprints are requested, verification can be done within minutes instead of weeks. One machine is currently being used by city police, with two more to be added by the end of June. CPS processes 100,000 security checks each year. An emotional plea about the dangers of power lines and why raising awareness saves lives. The Joint Utility Safety Team, or JUST, marking its second annual Power Line Safety Day today. Power companies teaming up with the province to improve job safety. Julie Hamilton applauding their efforts after losing her son to a power line incident. Our son Tim was only 19 years old when he was killed on the job. He was electrocuted. Last year, five people died after coming in contact with high voltage lines. Our mayor is on his way to China. Mayor Nenshi is catching up to a trade delegation spending a week in Beijing. The group includes provincial finance minister Lloyd Snellgrove and a host of private companies. Their goal is to try and drum up business for the city. This is the largest uh, trade delegation that Calgary's ever sent abroad. There are 75 business, approximately 75 business people from Calgary out there. Uh, and it's going to be a good opportunity. This is not one of those deals where it's all for show and at the end we'll sign a contract saying we're bringing pandas to Calgary or something. The dean of the Haskane School of Business says it's important for the mayor to be there. Having a top politician joining business leaders helps them open doors, especially in a country where the government plays such a strong role. A warning tonight for pregnant women as we head into the summer season. In Tomasia, it involves sunscreen. Well, Linda, a new report says the ingredient in some sunscreens can possibly lead to birth defects. We're told not to drink alcohol and not to smoke cigarettes or, uh, you know, do drugs and watch what kind of...